everybody this is Sherry and I wanted to show you something I received in the mail and it came from Debbie Vignola and this will make the fourth time four count them that I've tried to do this video and for some reason my I'm not sure I think it's my camera and it hates me because it keeps losing video I did it one time and I, I watched it it was on record and then I looked and it was gone it wasn't there it's was like okay maybe I didn't hit record maybe I'm confused so I recorded it again and and now it's gone again and again and again and again <laughs> so I may have to invest in if I can't figure out what the bug is with this a new camera or something but I really wanted to tell Debbie thank you so much for this. It really brightened my day and it's so pretty. Pink is my favorite color and I believe this is a Stampin' Up button on the bottom. So I'm wondering if this is Stampin' Up fabric because they used to make fabric. Not, not a lot but a little and I think it looked like this and I love it. And then she made this really pretty stick pin to go on it. And it's just the perfect little size. It sits right in the front of my desk and it makes me smile. And um, so I wanted to share that with you. And then I wanted to show you what I, make, what I made for Debbie's challenge. And for those of you who don't know Debbie or don't know what her challenge is, I'll put a link in the description box below and you can go and check out all the details and everything that she wants. But she wanted, I believe, four three by three cards so I made three sets and they're not really sets they're all kind of different they're all different but here's the first one and these were all just little things that I had sitting on my desk that I had already printed out and you can see the shimmer on it and then on the red ones I just put a white piece of cardstock so that you could have you know you'd be able to see whatever you write and I used the Recollections 110 pound collared cardstock for the base of all these cards. This is from the red pack and then the other ones are from the gray pack. And this one, you know, just a little bear. I put shimmer pen on the what is supposed to be the ribbon. I figured it could work for Christmas or birthday or just to say thank you. And that again, here's another thank you. And I put some glossy accents on the ice cream popped up the ball with a dimensional and colored him up and then just stamped the thanks at the bottom again another thanks just the bear and if you guys want to know where any of these images came from if you just leave a comment below letting me know I will find them and get you the information and I put some glossy accents on his little balloon and I think it's really cute he just looks so sad like it's gone it's gone why is it gone <laughs> I don't know I think I'm analyzing this entirely too much all right let's move on then I've got this one it says do I smell cake and I, I believe this is a Gerda Steiner set because I love her stamps and I put some spectrum noir shimmer on all of the gold uh, there so you can see that it really catches the light really pretty then the next one is this and this is the only one I think no I guess I did a couple where I put um, a layer an extra layer behind besides the image and this one just says what's up I love this little guy he's like really you're bothering me for that <laughs> he's just like I have an attitude and I'm not afraid to use it <laughs> I love it though and again just blank on the inside I love this stuff I have too much fun with this I, I think I got a problem and here's another little monster one it says you are rawsome rawr rawr rawsome rawr I don't I can't say <laughs> rawsome you are rawsome I think if not Debbie you tell them there's something else but I can't remember I don't know how to say it I think I'm messing it up here's the next one it says you are the beast and I just put spectrum noir uh, shimmer on his little orange feet and the little orange up here on his little head and colored him in with my Copics and put a little black for the glaze on for the black glaze on his eye and then white for the teeth 
and called him done. The next one is just the little penguin. And I believe the penguins come from an MF MFT set. And then just says thanks. And I put uh, shimmer on the little um, thing that he has around his waist on his little floaty. Then here's the next one. And I just colored this one up. I put some black glaze on the eyes and the nose. Put some Spectrum Noir Shimmer on the ears. And colored it up. Cut it out and just used my quarter inch corner rounder for the edges of the um, focal point. Then this is the only one I made that is a top folding. And I again colored all the Im colored the images. Just used my black glaze. Used my um, I can't remember which black ink I used. I know it. I can see it in my head, but my the words not coming to me. Uh, Versafine Onyx Black Ink. I knew it would come to me. <laughs> so I use that for all of the sentiments because it's just a really crisp, really dark ink. And there's that one. And then this would be the last one. And I just got the bear and the little teddy blank on the inside. I all I did on him was Spectrum Noir Shimmer on inside his little ears, and then glaze his eye, the eyes and nose on each of this, and it really just makes them like come to life. I love when I love being able to do that. That's like one of my favorite parts about um, doing images is getting to go back over them and put that in there. So here are just a few of the cards that I made and wanted to share with you all before I send them off to Debbie and again Debbie thank you so much for my stick pen cushion and stuff I love it he this is adorable and it really did really lift my spirits and make me so happy thanks for visiting me today guys and happy crafting bye